Hey, welcome back, everybody. First video went live yesterday. Thank you all for ever turned in. Or if you go back there and watch my cringy first video, good luck. <laughs> Anyways, we're here for a little shorter video. I like Mondays to be the big boom, the big hitter, and I think I'm gonna spread out some weird little daily ones. I think I'm just trying out. We're two doing new things. We're gonna see what works. So today is gonna be a little bit more. It's gonna be shorter, but it's gonna be more mm, impactful, short and sweet, as they always say. We're up in the garage. We're in my mom and dad's and I's box office, which is where everything is for their store, not really mine. You already saw what mine stuff is. Mine is down below. My walls and stuff. We actually just condensed everything up here, all the trailers, and we were condensing my stuff the other day as well. Completely off topic. As I said, short and sweet. So I'm going to get right into what we're doing today. So yesterday we set the goal of this week to try and get a thousand listings. I believe we are at 925 listings. So we're a little bit off the mark, but we have the rest of the week. And that's what next Monday. So I'm going to go and show you what we're listing today. But I kind of want to go through my methodology and why I chose these items. They're a little bit weird. They're a little bit weird. Uh, they're it's a custom CD lot now, uh, not CD DVDs. It's a custom DVD lot now. It, they are very loosely strung together, only strung together by uh, the genre or company made or age demographic. I'll go and show you them right here. Here goes another big bag. Get every big bag picked up a little bit. Got these here now. There's more than to them than just this. We have, this is the future right here. Went through. Technology peaked when we got this. Boom, bang. Look at this pile, look at this pile. This is very good. This is a very good pile. It's entirely Disney DVDs. Now, my, my local thrift store was having a filler bag. Now they're closing down for the winter season. And they said it's just going out. Five dollars a bag. So what what did Old Nick do? He went out there and he got the stuff. Now he stuffed this bag. This is a stuffed bag. Not as much as my parents did. They had shoes falling out the top of theirs. They just ripped. But I stuffed my bag. I stuffed my bag over it. Plenty. Plenty. And uh it it went really well. I got I just went crazy, really. I said, Alright, these kinda are like items. And it's pretty obvious. These are pretty obvious. This is a lot of un, do, trois, I don't know anything past that. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. A lot of fourteen. We're going to go and we're going to see what they are worth, but we're going to feel through the rest of them. This is where it gets a little more iffy. Now, what do we do with these? These are some spooky, scary movies, not spooky, but it fits. Some weird looking ones. So, I'm assuming that... They're at least horror thriller esque. Everything on the back indicates to me that they are. So we have. Now we are just loosely stringing things together. We are loosely stringing things together. But let's hope it works. We have just kids' animated movies. So we have like Ice Age, Open Season, Boot B Movie, Dark Tale, Monsters and Aliens. We have Robots at the very bottom here. Very scuffed copy of Robots. I'll make note of that. And uh, I think. I'm interested to see how this one goes. The more ambiguous you get with your lots, it, it's a little crazy, but the, it was all $5. I was taking the risk. I just wanted to see how it would go. So this is a little science experiment we're going to do together. We're going to see if these custom lots really do actually work for the right price. This is just a Nickelodeon slash just kids shows. There's Sesame Street in there. So this is a good lot of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So we have... Kids Nickelodeon esque movies. We have all Disney. We have fourteen of those. We have five kind of horror thriller movies, and then we have I don't think we counted this, but we have a good amount. I reckon like twelve of the kids animated movies, just general animation movies. So we're gonna go and we're gonna break these down and see what we get for those. All right, step one. Step one of trying to get pricing down for lots. Don't be deceived by these people. These people have just gone some sale. They're just useless. These are useless things to base your listing upon. 
So what we're going to do here, I do everything on my phone, so bear with me real quick. Uh, we go to sold and completed listing. So sold, completed, and then we click search. Well, I guess we're just going to do sold. On the phone, you click sold and completed. So make sure you do that. 14, lot of 10, children's DVDs, movies, frozen DVD. So this is actually good for our other one. This is January 2nd. This is very good. So this is looking like looking like this one. The cat in the hat, the ice age, the monsters. We're looking at some $16 for shipping here. I'm going to open up that just for reference in the future. It's not what we were, were looking for, but we will take it. That is that is good. And a lot of 16 this Disney. So it looks like around $20 plus $10 shipping. That's quite a bit. And we're going to get a little less for it. I think we're going to roughly get the same for both of these. We're going to get about $20 each. So $20 each for these random custom lots. These two, at least. These two kids' animated movies. That's very good. We like that. Uh, $20 is probably, I would say, my store average. I don't know if you can check that statistic. I hope you can. Maybe I will one day. Uh, we're going to check the Nick Jr. slash kids' shows here. A lot of 10, let's go a little slower. Kids DVD lot, $11 for, for four of them. I think we can, Blue's Clues. I kind of like this one. I think we can see. So we have Nick Jr., we have Sesame Street. It's So I'm going to say we're going to get probably around, I don't know if I would do nine plus shipping on this or just do like, 1333 or something like that because a few of these match like Paw Patrol there's a few so I think I'm gonna try to do it for like $14 or maybe maybe just $10 plus shipping so these two are definitely like in the $20 range I'd say these are in the the 10 to the teens range keep in mind I paid $5 for all these so this is just if one of these lots sell that's great and this one in itself will indeed pay for that but you know, not that much, but that's all right. So I guess it was five dollars. We took a little risk. Now we know. Now we know that we would never pay seven dollars for these because we're not going to be able to flip it. Obviously, because typically DVDs are a dollar each. Last but not least, we'll do the five horror movies. They really shouldn't uh, be selling right now, but I might hold on to them for Halloween because I had some really good Halloween like VHS and DVDs lots. So let's see. Low 10, maybe? Call it 10. That's being a little... little <laughs> we'll just call it... Call it a tenner, because that's kind of easy. Alright. So from that, we know that this is about a $20 lot. This one here. About a $20 lot. This one here. Maybe 10s, tweens? Tweens, 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 you know? This one, maybe 10. Maybe a little less. And that's quite all right. This is a $5 paper bag. And now just get it gone. And that's pretty good. This is pretty good. I was actually not expecting the prices to be so high. So I'm going to go on my phone here. I'm going to take my pictures. going to list them. We're going to get a little bit closer to our 1,000 goal for the week. I hope do get there. I'm going to do a little more than these, but I thought it would be interesting just to do a little breakdown video, put my thoughts, and kind of explore <laughs> these these random DVD lots, because I really just kind of went in, said, hey, will these do something for $5? It turns out they do something for $5, so keep an eye out. Try to lot things when you can, if they, especially if it's a deal day. Just try to go in there and you know see what you can. Like, oh, is this like so like my my method here was like oh shoot this is this find Finding Nemo we already have a Finding Nemo in this so I don't need two Finding Nemo so I put Finding Nemo with my other DVD lot and then I was like well what are these movies well they're all just like animated kids movies so I just put them together why not and that's really the that's the name of the game people why not why not just go for it go to your heart's content as long as you think. You'll be all right. Now, preferably, if you're just doing this regularly, you are pricing these out on your phone or something before you're actually buying them. Like this. This would be a total loss if it wasn't in a bag. Well, I wouldn't buy them, obviously. But 
just those things like that, making sure you're actually using the items you're buying. So make sure if you are indeed lotting, that you are lotting kind of like items. Do this, kind of look, they're all Nickelodeon, they're all kids. This is why you need a little bit of knowledge of just like things. You just pick up this knowledge of, that's why doing more reselling, doing more thrifting, going out there on the field, on the battlefield, marching through the trenches there. You, you learn these things. You know where the snipers are. You know where the mines are. I have never been to war, and I have a lot of war analogies. I really don't know why. I can't tell you. Anyways, I'm going to go do some more. I'm going to list these. We're going to get... Gotta get a thousand a week, baby. We're gonna get there. I only need seventy-five more. So hopefully I get a few more than just these this DVD lock. Anyways, take care. This is a little quickie. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it helped at all. Have a good one.